I'm Brian Thorson. I'm the machine shop supervisor at SnowX. Um, I also do a lot of commercial plowing. I've been doing it for about 35 years. Throughout this series, I'll share some of my tips and tricks I've learned over the years of commercial plowing. We're kicking off this series with straight blades. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the benefits of the straight blade. It's a beginner plow, homeowner, residential, light commercial use. What's nice about it, it does go on a wide variety of vehicles. It could pretty much go to any homeowner's uh, light duty truck that they have. So it's simple to operate with just a left, right, down, up command. The cost is relatively cheaper compared to some of the bigger plows. Straight blade plows have less moving parts, less hoses, less things to go wrong. So the maintenance on these plows should be a lot less than some of your other plows. When it comes to controls, there's a joystick or handheld control. Joysticks are mounted usually. I personally prefer the handheld. It allows me to use the, my right hand for shifting from reverse to drive while I control the plow with my left. Uh, some people may prefer to use the joystick. If you're wearing gloves, they might find it easier just to push the up down button. It's also nice about the handheld control. Um, when I'm not using the plow, it's easier to put away in the glove box. Some of the techniques with the, with the straight blade, I'll cover windrowing, back drag, scrape max, and float. So on windrowing, this is a common uh, term used usually in, uh, if you're doing parking lots, pushing snow one way, you would angle your blade away from a building or a sidewalk that you're trying to get away from and, and pushing snow one way. Back drag is usually referred to um, cleaning away from garage doors or loading docks, going forward to the garage door with the plow up, dropping the blade, dragging put in reverse going backwards with the snow against the truck. I like to put the blade back down, push it almost against the garage door, lift it up again, and then pull it backwards a second time, leaving a cleaner scrape. What's nice about the Snow X also is all blades have the scrape max feature, which allow, allows it to lock down so the blade lifts less during the back, back dragging feature. The scrape max feature is now standard on all truck plows. I love it for back dragging, especially wet snow. I'm lifting the blade up. It stays in contact with the ground more when I'm back dragging. It doesn't want to lift. Also, when going forward, when you push in a lot of snow in a parking lot, it'll help keep that light plow down to the contacting surface while I'm plowing. The scrape max feature is nice, keeping the plow to the ground. But on some uneven surfaces, it's nice to put it in float. By holding down on the down button, the green light will come on. It'll keep the plow in contact with the ground on uneven surfaces. Example would be leaving or entering a parking lot. When I'm looking at a parking lot where to pile snow on a small commercial lot, if it's one or two inches, I could start windrowing away from a building. If it's four or five, six inches of snow, I look at where am I gonna pile the snow that's not gonna affect a neighboring property's entry or parking lot. Where can I put the snow where it will hopefully be in a grassy area, not by a sidewalk or entryway where it's gonna melt and be a hazard. On a bigger snowfall, I'll go in the lot with just it in straight and I'll take as much snow as I can, push it in the lot, not even worry about fall off, take another one. I'm trying to get as much snow off as I can. Then I'll put it in a windrow, going away from either a sidewalk or building and work my way across. And then that way I have minimal fall off because I've already removed most of the snow with the straight feature. I'd also like to add on residential driveways, I never like to pile snow next to a sidewalk or by the garage door where the pile is gonna melt and make an icy pile. You always have to deal with throughout the winter. It's nice to use this plow in sync with other big blades. Some of the bigger blades can't go through the drive-in. For instance, at a bank, they're narrower in between parked cars. It's easy to, to work out some of those areas. Smaller sidewalks, you may be able to get a blade in versus using a snowblower if it's heavier, bigger snow. Straight blade's also great for cleanups. If you have to go back, instead of bringing a big piece of equipment, you can take a lighter truck into a condo association and just knock out the parking spots after people have left. On the heavy duty straight blade, there is wings that you can purchase. What's nice about that is for wind roving, you don't have as much fall off. If you have two wings on there, it'll give you the scoop. For having a straight blade feature, it gets you into entry level of knowing what a power plow or a V plow can perform 
without the big cost. To recap, let's take a look at the top five takeaways. 